It's your boy! Wavy Web Surf here. So approximately 10 years ago, I was addicted to an online MMO known as RuneScape. Many of you know about RuneScape. RuneScape was that free MMO that you could play using Java on any internet browser. And this meant that you could basically play this game wherever the hell there was a computer you could access, including locations like the middle school library. RuneScape was one of those games that I have so much nostalgia for, and that being because I pretty much played the shit out of it. I remember so many occasions of me coming home from school, getting off the bus, and going straight to the computer to play hours upon hours of RuneScape. From a technical standpoint, this wasn't the greatest game ever made, but the gameplay wasn't the big draw for me. It was the community aspect. And by community, yes, I mean the other players that I didn't know, but more so my friends that I knew in real life that also played RuneScape with me. This kept me playing the game for years. I was playing this game non-stop for something like three years straight. It was kind of ridiculous. But as time passed and more of my friends kind of stopped playing, I saw less and less of a reason to log on. The game just kind of fell out of priority in my life. I always remember seeing people on RuneScape talking about that they were going to quit and they were giving away all their items and, you know, they were never going to come back. You would always hear somebody in the chat box saying, hey, you never really quit RuneScape. And 10 years later, I find this to be one of the truest statements I've ever heard. I think this statement of you never quit an MMO that you put a ridiculous amount of time into is pretty true. I mean, this goes across all types of MMOs. You know, like games like WoW, and not even in the MMO circuit. I have friends who are more into the Xbox Live scene where they would play Halo 3 or the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and just get on chat and fuck around. They always talk about nostalgic times about those video games as well. And it's kind of funny. We as kids who grew up playing MMOs and online games hold so much nostalgia for those types of games. The nostalgia even will occasionally draw you into logging in to your account after years of years of inactivity. For example, recently I had a friend over and as we were bored out of our minds just chilling watching Netflix, he suggested, Hey man, you want to log on to RuneScape? At first I kind of laughed it off and didn't take it too seriously, but as the nostalgia started to creep in, the irresistible urge to log in and play a little bit caught me off guard. So we ended up playing, and it was pretty fun for a little bit. But then after a few days passed of regularly logging in and playing a couple of hours, I kind of just lost interest again. I've had friends tell me they picked up old games that they used to play like Halo and stuff and try it around, but since the online functionality is no longer there and the friends that you used to play with just aren't there either, it's just not the same. And it's honestly a really sad thing. It brings up an important question to me. Why do we hold these things that we were so interested in in our early teenage years so valued? It makes you really think because the things that we were exposed to in our early teenage, even preteen years, really has a lasting effect on us as people. It's kind of absurd to think that a video game could have such an impact on someone's life. Such an impact that even 10 years down the road, it still enters your mind every now and then and you kind of think to yourself, maybe I should log in and check it out again. It's kind of like going outside and seeing this old rusty bike laying against the side of the house that you used to ride every day as a kid. And maybe you pick it up you look at it and you're like, you know what, I'm going to give this thing a try. So you blow up the tires and get on the bike and ride it for a few minutes. You relive the nostalgia for a few moments, but after a few minutes, you know, it's time to go back inside and be an adult. I kind of make this analogy as an example of what it's like to play MMOs that you were really into as a teenager. It almost seems like it's something for children, you know. It's really sad to see something that we put so much time in as kids go off to the wayside. I think that's just part of what nostalgia really is though. It's a longing for the past where it felt better, where it felt everything was fresh, where it felt comfortable. As adults, the reality of it is, life is hard and there are struggles every day. Never again will you have the comfort of getting off that school bus 
walking in to your mom giving you a big hug maybe have some totino's pizza rolls ready for you and you're playing some runescape all night not worrying about anything everyone experiences nostalgia differently but personally that's one of that's a big point of nostalgia for me as adults i feel like it's important to experience nostalgia in safe doses for you cannot live in the past, you just need to appreciate it and savor the memories that you made in those great times. You always need to be living in the present and don't get caught up on how life doesn't feel as great as it used to be. This kind of went down a serious path, but this is what getting on RuneScape triggers in my brain. A weird existential crisis, you might call it. Anyways, guys, I know you guys have similar stories of nostalgic MMO online gaming experiences, and feel free to share them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Anyways, Wavy Web Surf out. I hope y'all have a great day. I want to give a major shout out to our first two Patreon donators. We've got Sadie Brubaker coming in with the slick $2. Sadie, thank you so much. You're amazing. Super homie. I've been seeing you in the comment sections. I can't wait to hear from you again. And coming in with another slick $2. We got your boy, Sam Halbrick, coming through with the super homie pledge. Appreciate you, Sam. I'll be seeing you around in the comment sections. Anyways, guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at TheWavyWebSurf, and don't forget to leave your comment below for your chance to make comment of the day in the next video. If you want to be super homie, donate to me on Patreon. Peace.